Hi, my name is Garrett. You're watching my uh, first video on a series, hopefully, on cider making. Um, just wanted to go over some of the basics before we get into the technical how-to. Clearly, I'm driving in my car here, so hopefully the background noise doesn't bother you too much. Um, first of all, what, why did I want to make cider? Why do I think that has something to do with producing my own freedom? Uh, I listen to a lot of podcasts, one of which is the Survival Podcast with Jack Spearco. Great podcast, great guy, go check it out. Um, but I want to go and try to do two things. One, just learn a new skill, and two, produce my own cider to reduce my dependency and, and money I spend on alcoholic beverages. So the idea is, the goal is to produce everything that I drink in my own household as far as, as, far as ciders go. Probably replace some beer drinking with some cider drinking instead. To do that, put some money back into my pocket. And, and I think um, being frugal and, and economical is a great way um, to further your own freedom. A lot of us are uh, restricted by the, by the jobs we're seemingly stuck in to pay bills from week to week or, or we're kind of, uh, we lack freedom because of debt. We can't afford to not show up the next week for, for work because that obviously means a, a credit card payment or a car payment or a mortgage payment for a lot of people. Um, that we're then going to fall behind on and it's going to make our lives miserable. So I think anything we can do to, to save a few bucks and have, have fun doing it um, and, and really make something rather than sitting around watching TV or something like that is a good thing. And hopefully enjoy this little mini-series on cider making. Let's get into the, the basics of, of what happens here. It's really pretty straightforward. It's an easy project. That's why I chose it. Um, basically, you take sugar and yeast and it creates alcohol and CO2. That's the end all be all of the chemistry behind uh, behind this. There's some things you can do wrong and right to, to get better or worse results certainly, um, but basically what we're going to be doing in this series is making uh, a hard cider just from store-bought apple juice. Uh, we'll go into what kind and, and some of the equipment in episode two, if you will, or, or installment two. Um, but we're going to use some, some yeast from online, uh, some store-bought apple juice, um, a fermenting vessel, and we're going to let that sit and make alcohol for us. Hopefully you enjoy it. Feel free to, to post in the comments below, and uh, I'll check on you with installment two.